welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to talk about a few products that I got the chance to try out. Smooth and Shine was kind enough to send me a few products so that I could try it on myself and let the world know what I thought about it. So if you are interested in seeing what my thoughts are on these products, please keep on watching. So I got the chance to try three products from their new Intense Moisture line. And I got the Deep Recovery Treatment and this has macadamia, macadamia nut oil and shea butter. Um, all, all of them have that in there. And then I also got the Quenching Co-Wash. And last but not least, I got the Coil Hydrating Butter. And they all have a coily braiding thing right here. My camera won't zoom this close, but it's a one, two, three, four, so by hair type, I guess. And this is for hairs type four, so mine is a 4C, I believe. I'm not an expert on natural hair. From what I've seen and read, that's what I would describe my natural hair as. Um, the other two are for all types, but this one right here was the only one that was for a type four. If you're interested, I did, I do have a tutorial after this on how I stretch my hair after washing. My hair was already, was pretty dirty. I hadn't washed it for a while. I don't wash my hair often because I have really dry hair. My scalp gets really dry. My hair gets really dry. And I feel like when I wash it, and especially if I do it too much, it adds even more to that whole dryness thing. So I just keep it, leave it alone. Um, but I started off with the quenching co-wash. This thing is thick, like it won't move in here really. So I started off with that, so I co-washed my hair with it. To me, co-washing is really just washing it with conditioner. Like I said, I am no natural hair expert. I just go with the flow with my hair, okay? I'm super duper low maintenance. I wish I could change that, but I'm lazy, so that's probably not gonna change. I liked the idea of just co-washing with something that would hydrate my hair. You wouldn't strip away its moisture, and it would add a little bit more moisture than what I would have naturally, which is really not a lot. My hair loved it. It soaked it all up. I also liked that I could still like run my fingers through it, so it was detangling my hair as I was like scrubbing it into my scalp. Um, and then I went in with the um, deep recovery treatment. This one, you should use it on wet hair, work from root to tip, and leave in hair for best results, and that's what I did. I left it in my hair. This one is also pretty thick, the same, um, similar consistency as the co-wash. It really hydrated my hair. Once again, like for me, it's all about hydration. This really hydrated my hair, but what I also liked about it is that it didn't leave a residue. I feel like every time I do a leave-in on my hair, it leaves even like, there'll be these little balls, like, <laughs> that's what he said or she, whatever. I would get like these little tiny little balls on my hair. Um, I feel like my hair doesn't necessarily instantly like soak up product, so it just sits on top a lot of times. And I didn't experience that with this, so I really liked it. I didn't. I don't feel like there's product built up on my hair. Like my hair still feels really clean. I hate it when I wash my hair and then I put product, and it feels like it feels heavy. It feels like it's dirty again. I don't like it and I really didn't experience any of that with these products I then went in with the coily hydrating butter this one which I would have thought would be a thicker consistency it's almost like a yogurt consistency if that makes sense not the thick kind so it's not very thick it smells really good and I finished that off with this and I did some flat twists with Bantu knots at the end of my hair. My hair felt really good, it's hydrating, like hydrating, hydrating, hydrating. For me personally, it did add moisture for my hair. I don't feel like my hair is heavy. I don't feel like it's gunky with products. I did it last night and I sat under one of those 
plastic dryer things like you hook up your dryer and there's like a cap whatever I found it on um, on eBay so I had to dry it a little bit because I did it kind of later during the day and my hair takes a while to dry so I put it under that when I woke up this morning the back wasn't completely dry so I decided to just do a poof but I got ringed on so the poof was a little bigger it was like looser like was more defined and I actually really like it like this let's go see the back I really like it and if I could get a wash and go that would look like this I would do it every single day I usually don't rave a ton about hair products because I just feel like they usually don't work for me they leave my hair feeling heavy I feel like the moisture doesn't penetrate and if it does it just leaves my hair feeling weird and my hair feels really soft to the touch it smells really nice and it looks nice like I think that that butter really helped to um, keep the definition like my hair looks like it's really healthy right now what I'm telling you like my hair usually looks dry as hell like dry as hell okay like it's bad I really like it if you've used it go ahead and leave it in the comment section below let me know what you thought about it if you tried it if you had a good experience with it let your girl know um and if you're interested in seeing how I would say this is more of a stretching method for me keep on watching because I don't like to just wash my hair and let it go I mean froze are really cute on you know I feel like it, it has to be a certain type of face frame I just don't like it on myself like I don't like when my hair gets really froey like 70s fro so I like to stretch it after I wash it so yeah you guys that's it for my review I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on my next one have a great one you guys bye